Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and do you like free stuff? Of course you do. And are you an Unreal Engine user? Well, if you're an Unreal Engine user, I'm guessing you're probably getting pretty used to getting free stuff because, well, to Epic Games, it's Christmas all the time. They just keep giving Unreal Engine developers more and more and more free stuff. Now, what you're probably thinking is, oh, is this the monthly giveaway? Actually, no. Now, if you've got absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, basically the first Tuesday of every month, uh, Unreal Engine give away five assets and then a couple more permanently free. So they give it away for the month and then a couple that get added to the permanently free collection. And that already actually happened this month. So you can see here, uh, they gave away the ability pack, uh, Android native goodies and FPS weapon pack and so on earlier this month and then linter was the new per, um, free forever kind of asset but no that's not what we're actually talking about today what we are talking about today is a new collection this is the spring into action with this free environment collection from project nature this is over 20 environment and vegetation products completely free on the unreal engine marketplace if you're wondering this is actually completely free forever collection includes over 75 variants of plant species many of which were photo scanned from real world vegetation from towering trees to the smallest of ground plants and flowers. Creating a refreshing oasis retreat, escape to a serene meadow or adorn warm desert landscape uh, for your audience to explore. More than 550 optimized models. Uh, the sky or the ground is your limit on what you can grow. So you can see here it is Project Nature assets. Hundreds of optimized plant models and materials. Don't worry, we're going to look at them in action in just a second. Uh, Shader-based Project Nature Wind System 2.0, Project Nature Inter... Uh, Project Nature interaction system 2.0 including replicated animations a dynamic low poly grass system a dynamic ivy creation pack and much more so if you're interested all of these assets are now available in the epic marketplace your easiest way to get here is actually i will toss this link in the linked article down below because if you go to the permanent free collection these are sort of spread everywhere as we will see in a second we can see the kind of stuff that we're dealing here a lot of it's based on the region so temperate vegetation temperate vegetation uh two so this is uh bushes and saplings this is wild berries mediterranean tropical temperate again more mediterranean more tropical um interactive open world uh this is the one i'm going to show you in a second um, this is interactive open world foliage, foliage, sorry, uh, more temperate. Uh, we've got grass landscape material, volume one, uh, forest landscape material, volume one and two, tree bark, dynamic low polygon grass. And then finally, in the last page, we have the dynamic IV creation system. And as I mentioned earlier on, they're all in the four available free forever now category. So if you go in here into uh, the Epic marketplace, or you go into the unreal engine launcher and go to the marketplace section, you will find a category called the permanently free collection and you are going to find all of the things I just showcased are scattered throughout now as I mentioned they're in no particular order so let's go to page three of the results and we're going to find some project nature stuff popping up here somewhere unless I lied to you all right let's go to four see if I get any uh nope Okay, I lied. They've got them under better order. When I first looked at it, they were scattered all throughout. But you see, there is still sort of an intermixing of things. So we got this gun pack in between them. So the easiest way is to go in and check it via that one link that just narrows it down to the Project Nature stuff. If you want any of these things, basically all you do is if you're logged in, you click it, you add it to your cart, and you check out. You don't need to give them a credit card. You don't need to pay anything. And they are yours forever at that point. Now, let me see if I still have... No, I don't have it open right now. So here we are. We're going to take a look at one of them. This is Unreal Engine, and this is the... The open foliage the foliage uh, section so this is for open worlds this is a bunch of um, grass and flowers and such that you can work with um, and this is uh, this one has a demo map to check out so you can see it in action right here so if you need to have low polygon grass for your game you see you'll notice it's animated and being moved it is blueprint controlled so you've got all kinds of control over everything that's here we go back and you're gonna see it's broken down into we got some um, color examples various different maps to check it out materials and meshes most of the time what you will use is a mesh so whatever you want to use, basically just bring it and drop it into your world to instance that particular item. And you'll notice once again, the wind system is taking effect and you've got control over that. Um, should be available down here if I keep looking. Uh, but anyways, you do have um, fine tuned control over how these things work. And if you want to start populating your world with plants and such, this pack kind of gives you almost everything you need. So that's just one of them. I actually brought a couple of them over. So you see down here in the content browser, uh, the ones I imported were spruce forest, low polygon grasses, and that's the open world foliage. That's what we're seeing right here. So I'm going to go over, we'll take a look at the spruce collection and it's split down into a pretty logical way. So, um, 
we could open up the example maps, but in this case, I'm just gonna go over, and here's the meshes. We've got choice between full, high, and low res, so we'll do high, and here we could bring in a spruce. Let's drop spruce into the world, like so, and give it a second while my computer spools up and gets that thing loaded, because this is a 24,000 polygon uh, model with five LODs and all the various different materials. So here it comes in. Just give it a second so you can listen to the sound of my fans complaining at me. And there we go. There is a spruce in the world. Let it do its shader thing. But in the meantime, let me just zoom back and look at it. And there is a spruce. And the details of your spruce are available over here. Things that go together to make it. And so on. Give it a second. Come on, shaders. All right. Anyways, you get the idea as it's loading in the shaders. For some reason, it's it's taking its sweet time to load the shaders in, but such is the joy of working with Unreal Engine sometimes. I'm actually surprised at how slow that's actually going. But anyways, that is how you instantiate in these objects. There is a bunch of them. Uh, should have the Epic Game Launcher still available over here. You'll notice there's a ton of them once you've loaded them in. Basically, just go to your library once you've purchased them. You're going to notice them scattered all the way throughout. Um... So here we go, we got a bunch of the different ones here. If you wanna start using something, so for example, if I wanted to start using uh, Mediterranean uh, Village or whatever, I could just basically do an add to project. Uh, pick the project that I'm interested in. Oh, look, CryEngine wanted to get in there. Uh, so let's pop in, nice of CryEngine to make a cameo, and then basically just add it to our project. It will go ahead, it will download it, whatever the size of it is, and then import it in. So that's how easy these things are to use to add to your existing project. And then eventually it will show up over here. Our shaders are still loading in, so that quality is going to slowly get a bit better. But you get an idea of the kind of stuff you are dealing with here. We'll go over and take a look at that other one. So this is the low polygon grass. And once again, we've got example content to actually go ahead and see what it looks like. Um, but mostly, mostly what you're going to use is the meshes. So for example, here's a bunch of different grass meshes. And we can click one of these to take a look at it. Now it's going to be fighting with me on the other hand because I am currently uh, baking textures or creating the shaders for this other fellow. So we're not getting updates on the fly, but you get an idea built up of, so it's going to compile in its shaders. I'm going to get into a bit of a shader fight, and that's not going to be fun. So I'm just going to shut that guy down, wait for this guy to continue. But you see, there is the spruce still slowly moving in, and I'll kind of leave it there. So it's, it's a nice pack. It, this is the kind of stuff that people use basically on a daily basis. A lot of times, you know, you are doing nature, and the cool thing about using nature assets is they're kind of, you know, if they're done well, they look like nature. So it doesn't look like an asset flip if you take advantage of these things. And, and again, it's kind of really cool that it is completely free. Now, what you're wondering possibly is, is this next month's free thing? Well, you can see here at the bottom after they mentioned it, um, this is the latest free content offering to the Unreal Engine creators. Um, make sure you check back on the first Tuesday of each month to find out even more content. So that leads me to believe, because right now, if you're watching this live, it is actually the uh, second from last Tuesday of the month. And I'm going to assume that Unreal didn't screw that up. So we're going to probably still see an asset pack uh, in April. At least I hope we will. Uh, but yeah, that is what we are dealing with. I think we have our loaded in tree now. There you go. You see it. Looks good. Looks like a spruce. And yeah, that is it. That is the pack. Kind of gives you an idea. A bunch of grasses, ivy. Uh, we got wind control systems, an ivy creation system, and a bunch of um, you know models and meshes that are ready to basically drop in and populate your world. Uh, definitely a useful pack for the majority of people, and I'll be interested to hear what you have to say about this guy in the comments down below. Again, I ask this time every time that uh, a new monthly release comes from Unreal Engine. Are these free giveaways starting to get to you? Are you starting to get tempted to move over to the Unreal Engine side of things if you haven't already? And if you are already using Unreal Engine, are you finding you're actually using these things on a consistent basis? I'd be interested to hear what you think of that and what you think of this giveaway in general. I think this is like just universally useful. Like Unless you're doing like a cyberpunk or um, non-realistic world, you're going to need grasses, you're going to need trees and that kind of stuff in your world. And again, it doesn't look flippy if you use these things. So this is kind of usable to everybody that is in that situation. So I think this is a great giveaway. 21 plus, or sorry, 20 plus assets. I believe it's 21 total. Um, and they're all free for you and they're all free forever. So uh, do check that out. And by the way, the, the final question is going to be, uh, can I use these outside of uh, Unreal Engine? And generally the answer is, 
Yes, as long as it wasn't uh, an epic games created piece of content, you can use it in another engine. Now it isn't necessarily easy, but I will link an article down below that will actually show you how you can export um, models and textures and all that stuff from Unreal Engine, in that particular case, to Blender. So if you want to check that out, I will link that down below as well. So let me know what you think of this in general, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.